In Ontario, Premier Doug Ford's government has launched a new social media account to promote its agenda. The Twitter account published its first content Monday night, a minute-long video looking back on Ford's first month in office. The Ford government confirmed to Global News that production of the content is being paid for with taxpayer dollars. Ontario NDP leader Andrea Horvath says... Uh, it has called the Twitter account completely inappropriate. She says no taxpayer dollars should be going towards partisan advertising and promotion. This is where we bring in Danielle Smith from Global News Radio 770 CHQR. Danielle, I was okay with the Twitter account and then I heard about the tax dollars and now, well, you lost me. Well, it's interesting because one of the things he argues is that this is being put out by his PC caucus. And I think that's important because every single party and every single legislature and every single province has a certain amount of money that they use for communications. They use it to produce policy reports. They use it to um, run their internet websites. And so the question now is, is does this cross the line? I think what people are taking umbrage with is the fact that he calls it Ontario News Network. And I think we have maybe a different understanding in the news business of what news is. It's certainly an information network. They're pushing out positive messages about what he's been doing. They are, um, they're not interviewing anyone on the other side offering criticism. Whereas I think most people think of news as you go out and you get a variety of different sources, different perspectives and bring them together so that you can at least have some amount of balance or neutrality. So I looked at the minute video and it's just a straight up puff piece showing him going to a number of different events, things that I think the news media probably wouldn't cover. We probably wouldn't cover him um, shaking hands with people at a police academy uh, graduation. And so that's part of what he's trying to do. He recognizes that there's limitations in the media. We, in the media, we, we tend to focus on those areas where there's some controversy, where there's some conflict, so that we can bring some understanding to it. He's using it clearly to get a, his message out. And I, I think, uh, I, I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with that. I think that's what political parties do. And the fact that he's using a novel way of getting it out, it just may mean that he has has a lot more effectiveness in having people tune in. Can anyone come down on him for naming it a news network then? I don't think there are any regulations around that. It is interesting, isn't it? I mean, I, I'm surprised. You would think that at some point um, in, in our history that those of us who are in news networks might have tried to at least try, tried to get some copyright on the, on the term and what it actually meant. But I, I can't see that that's going to be very successful. Look, my view is that you have to get information from as many sources as you possibly can, uh, process it, assimilate it, and come to your own conclusion. So I don't have any problem with it additional information getting out there. Um, but uh, I think people do have to be a bit aware that not everything that you get from a single source is, is going to be 100% accurate. And, and it's funny, you already have mainstream media sources saying, yeah, he said he eliminated the 10 cent a liter fuel tax in Ontario. He hasn't actually quite done that yet. He's announced it, but he hasn't enacted it yet. And so I think that's a bit of a word of caution on both sides. Uh, number one, you might not be getting accurate information, but if you get it wrong, boy, you're going to get a lot more negative news stories than you bargained for. Yeah, no kidding. Well, it's interesting to say the least. Much more on your show today at 930. Thanks, Danielle. Yeah, thank you.